bang. I've got everything I need. I just need a little bit of obsidian. I've got bad memories of doing this. Over three stacks, that is definitely going to be enough. You may also be wondering why this is only 1,050 days and not 1,100. Well, this is basically my compromise so I can still bring you hardcore videos every single Saturday. But I'm also not spending every single second of my life playing Minecraft and I can, <laughs> I can actually go outside. A little AFK platform. I'm going to put a slap above my head so that no phantoms can get to me. I might even just... I'll just make a little... Yeah, we'll make a little area here. We'll just chill up here. Perfect. I will also go down here and just swoop at the last second. Okay, half a heart. A little bit close for comfort. Anyway, back to business. We can break all of that. See you later, scaffolding. And look at this. We're already getting loads and loads. Oh, whoa, 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 don't blow up. Maybe it would be best just to, to not look at it at all, actually. Whilst I'm out exploring, I might as well try and find some glow berries. But these can only be found in a mineshaft. Ideally, I'd find a mesa to get a mineshaft, but I've probably got a better chance if I just go underground. Another desert temple. Golden apple and some diamonds. Actually, you know what? Diamonds are still for peasants. On the home straight, only one thing can go wrong now. The shulker doesn't get out of the boat. There we go, that's good. Let's push him like that. Okay, he's teleported. Where did he... Where did he go? Are you kidding me? Oh, this is this is why I hate shulkers. A disaster is starting to happen. <laughs> the shulker has multiplied. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, <laughs> because I can't wear armor because it's got thorns on it that would take out the shulkers. I've just used up a totem. Plenty more where that came from. I've had just about enough of this. First of all, I'm going to get rid of you. There we go. Next, I'm going to get you into a boat and finally get you to go to the overworld. I just go like that. Okay, when he opens up... Nope, that's not quite worked. We need to do one more. There we go. Now, when he opens... Come on. Open up fully, don't mess about. Come on. There we go. He's finally gone through. Also get another blue axolotl. That'll give us four altogether. Very nice indeed. Now for my next project, I'm going to create an obsidian farm. I want something that's much safer than my old method because, well, we all know what happened last time. I'm going to get a minecart right here and I need to spawn an endermite. Okay, hopefully that still works. Okay, finally we got an endermite. That took way, way too long. I'm going to take off my thorns armor so that I don't defeat it. Just realized that before it can be in a minecart, you have to name tag it first. There we go. Now to get it in that minecart. Perfect. Let's break some blocks so it goes down there. Also need a carpet on top of it. Okay, well that was a, a useful totem. I ran out of carpet, so I'm just stealing them from down here. But this one is going to go on top of him. And that should be the farm complete. All the endermen seem pretty angry at me. But yeah, they're going to run to attack the endermite, fall down, and I can just take them out down here. That's another row complete. And I'm going to do this last row with sand so that I don't mix it up with the walls. I've finished draining this layer, which means I've only got this section left. And this mammoth project will finally be over. And now this section is also drained. So now I just need to remove all the gravel. And there we have it. It is completely finished. Months of hard work and the outside is done. Although the inside, as you can see, there's, um, <laughs> there's still a bit of water in there. I'm going to head over to where I bred all those pandas to retrieve a brown one. I've now arrived at the destination. And here are the two brown pandas, but only one can come with me. Well, here is what I've created. And the panda that survives when I break this boat is the one that I shall keep. So there we go. Oh, and it looks like you are going to be the, uh, the one to stay. But don't worry, guys. I wouldn't let a panda die. So if we go down here and... Okay, maybe... Maybe this didn't quite work properly. Now I just need them to breed me some baby villagers. And I also have the task of getting rid of all this water, which could take a little bit of time. Finally, it has been done. And getting rid of this tower is pretty straightforward. And there we go. So next I need to create a big water pool to catch the baby villagers. Otherwise, it, <laughs> it won't end well for them. I think it's time this spruce fence was moved as well. Just so I can make a pool to catch them that's definitely going to be big enough. I'm going to need to put some sort of light source underneath this pool as well. Otherwise, it'll just all become ice. So my idea is to craft a load of sea lanterns. I'm always making alterations to this machine. I'll need more red stone to properly fix it but for now i've got a more important project to do like saving the lives of falling baby villagers after all that turns out i didn't even bring enough sea lanterns to say this room is really coming together i'm just going to add a bunch of other random items fill in as many gaps as i can there's actually only eight more items i want to add to this system and one of them is going to be glow ink sacks i also want regular ink sacks did you just bring this <laughs> I love the way he's just stood here like, special delivery, all right, <laughs> he's gone. It's not every day you get a present from an Enderman. So because I never normally name my tools, I'm going to name this one the Fast Chopper. And if my calculations are correct, with haste two from the beacons, the wood should mine instantly, let's see. Oh, it doesn't really? I did all the calculations, but apparently it, it just mines at this speed and can't go any faster. But you know what? I'm still going to take an item frame and place it here to remind me of the failed experiment. I also definitely have enough wood now. Really? Really? I've still got no idea how creepers keep spawning down here. I, I need to add more lights.